France has banned ultra thin models. Good for them. Yes. So against the backdrop of a global movement to rid the fashion industry of really, 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 really skinny models, you know how they used to look like mm -hmm. this. France has become another country to ban the practice. Uh, the French government had passed a law back in 2015 banning ultra skinny models and it just now went into effect. But instead of using BMI, as some advocates were saying they should do, they're going to have a French doctor, a, a, an examination by a doctor, be the determining factor in whether or not they are healthy enough to actually model. That's, if that's backwards, then that's ass backward. Because if you How think so? about How it, so? think you, you just pay a doctor off. Could, you could I mean, you could pay a doctor off. That, Men that, lie. Women lie. Numbers don't lie. That's true. But people were saying BMI, some people are just naturally skinny. And BMI is not an effective way to see whether someone is having anorexia or not. So in a doctor's examination, they say they can check for anorexia, like if the hair is falling out or um, di different things you can check, like your, your calcium density. That's things that can show that you're malnourished. So... That's why they decided oh, that doing it by yeah. an examination by a doctor would be better than just doing BMI. So instead um, of or in addition to, so instead they can of. they can they are encouraged to look at BMI also. Okay, okay, but it's not mandated. So Marisol Terrain, France's Minister of Social Affairs and Health, stated, "Quote: Exposing young people to normative and unrealistic images of body leads to a sense of self depreciation and poor self esteem that can impact health related behavior." So, you know, they're joining Italy, Spain, and Israel uh, as, you know, all of these countries that have banned really, mm -hmm. really skinny models. So you think this is a good idea? For America? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that <laughs> yeah. they, we should stop supersizing everything in America, first of all. You know mm, what I'm trying to say? Point. Because America is really fat with just all the preservatives <laughs> yeah. that they put in. I'm telling you, yeah. I was in Spain, and I ate everything. Nutella. I was like... <laughs> and you I lost ten pounds. With Nutella. Like, and like, I lost ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Now that's crazy. I'm talking to my girlfriend from France, right? Mm -hmm. And I and I'm telling her this, and she says because of the way America um um do, does their food, right, 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 the preservatives in their food. America's uh capital is off health care, mm -hmm. so keeping their people sick is, mm. uh, is oh girl, and that's I was, woke. And Isn't I was like, woke? hello. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like you're like, it's yeah, it's true. Uh, so it's true. I don't know if I, I think that America has bigger problems than skinny models. You think so? Well, yeah. I mean, the anorexia. The reason why they even came out with that law is because of that 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 model. I believe she was an Italian model who dropped dead. She died of anorexia. She died. She died. Like anorexia is a real. Well, thing. guess what? How many people die of? obesity diabetes mm -hmm. hypertension right i'm just saying okay. that one little model died but it's like okay I, well my okay. Aunt bertha my arm like it's a whole bunch of them big <laughs> listen <laughs> they coming for your edges girl you already <laughs> said you don't have a lot so you need to stop. i'm not but, gonna stop it's the truth but though. think about this okay so you're saying that you know what they need to soup they need to stop all the supersizing all of those things so you think that that the government has a role in in regulating industry of course okay in america like come on okay okay the fda like they they like ban no drug they just like mm, come on come on come on. because mm -hmm. healthcare, healthcare is a viable engine in america education is another viable engine in america we pay for education they don't pay for education in france they don't pay for education in a lot of like, canada so they you know do. okay Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, I well, I, I think it's I think it's a good I think it's a good law. It's a step in the right direction. It will help people be models. People going into that industry to love themselves at a healthy healthier weight. So guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna they're gonna Don't. take the, no they they're gonna take the the pitch stitch or whatever. What do they use when they are manipulating photos and stuff? What is what is that called? Wait, a Photoshop? They're gonna Photoshop them down anyway. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the yeah, but at least they the won't. Image. At least they won't die. At least they won't die. At least they'll be alive and healthy. One dead model. I'm just, just saying. You need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> mm.